this was approved today, so we will have torso cam. This is good for women. This is the flash we are doing today. They look super duper cute. Yeah, a little bit noodly, but that's okay. All right, so this is acetone. This is a solvent. This is corrosive. Do not get it in your eyes. Do not leave it on your skin. This is used for just barely dissolving the edge of bald caps so they blend in a bit better. But this is not makeup remover. This is not something that is friendly for you. This, this is extremely flammable and poisonous. So kids that are watching at home, try to stay out of the acetone unless you have a professional or a parent helping you. All right, so as you can see for the bald cap, I took little cotton balls to pat around my ear so it's less painful. I used acetone to blur out the edges and I will be satisfied with this. Let's get our little wingolings on and uh, start flashing it up. What I did is I sculpted them out of clay, covered them with liquid latex just the exact same way as I did my bras, and then peeled it off, put a little bit of cardstock in there for stability. As you can see it's around there. So for painting a man face, you want to widen your chin, you want to raise the cheekbones, you want to give the longer face to chisel it out of to get this like big masculine jaw. So my cheekbone is about here. I'm moving the highlights and the framing of the mask to about up here. One thing I try to do because I have like, quite a wide forehead is I try to square it up. I'll take my forehead from being this wide to about this wide. Also try to make shapes more angular, like pointier temples. After I've gotten the white pencil drawn in, I'll take an alcohol-based liner, that way my water-based paint will wash it off. Start marking out my illusion so we can fill it all out, start getting paint on, and get this guy done in a flash. If you are ever makeuping around your eye area, remember this more sensitive skin around here, you don't want to be putting astringents or makeup removers around too often, so be very careful. Take your time around your eyes, treat your body good, and it will treat you good. Whenever I'm doing like a big effort stream, I'm trying something new. I do get scared and I do get overwhelmed, but I know that I won't grow unless I'm doing scary things. Looking at my face as if it were a 2D plane, thinking about where it's going to end up in the photos, and that's where I'm drawing my gloss lines. Instead of like starting it here or here, I'm looking and saying, okay, well my face is going to be here, but I want one highlight across the top. It's going to have to be somewhere about there. See how I did that with just that one bit of line work? I sandwiched my arms together with a pen in the middle just to transfer it to make sure it's symmetrical. One really cool trick is mix neons with regular yellow. So regular yellow isn't very bright. Neon yellow is just so thin, you kind of want a combination of the two. my cream stick because I'm using such an aggressive pigment like red underneath. I need to kind of make that separation barrier layer before I put on a lighter color. This is a water-based paint. If this was an airbrush brush, I'd be able to just go over it with whatever water-based paint that I have. But this is water-based versus water-based, which means it mixes and it blends. And we're going for cell shaded. If you would like me to be at any convention, suggest it to the convention coordinators and be like, bring this lady out, she can run panels and entertainment times. If anybody is painting themselves, please remember that organic shapes will go a lot quicker. That's why painting yourself as Mystique or Poison Ivy is so much faster than painting yourself as a video game character or robots or anything with hard edges. So if you're looking for a fast and easy paint, pick something with organic shapes. I'm like a dog. It's like you breed them to do a certain job, and once you get dogs that job, they're like so happy. Final seal! It smells like mints and deliciousness. You can keep a bit of rubbing going. I kind of like just like go in the areas where there's sweats and elbows. I do have to outline my antenna. Look at it on the 2D plane, edge it so it looks outlined. Lines on the inside, lines on the outside. Still a cartoon! There was no negativity today, and I thought it would be like a torrential, a torrential torrent of craziness, and it was like one of the best dreams we've had in a long time. So thank you!